You're all mad. Thanks very much. Hello everyone, welcome to Midwest Scumbags, where we embrace the art of being a scumbag in the heartland of America. From deceiving your friends to scamming your way through life, we explore the gritty underbelly of society through the eyes of those who thrive on the fringes of it. Today, we'll explore the fascinating yet often unsettling world of artificial intelligence and the consequences of its rapid advancement. As AI becomes more integrated to our daily lives, we're seeing both the potential benefits and dangers that come with this powerful technology. From predictive policing to autonomous weapons, AI is raising ethical questions that we've never had to face before. Elliot, what do you think some of the implications of rapid AI advancement are? Well, Skylar, I'm glad that you asked, um, because I've been thinking about this a lot lately, and... Uh... You know, those thoughts have just been drowned out by that beautiful intro. I was in shock. He used so many good I, words. It's like the first time that we've ever had an intro that was uh, thought out beforehand. Yeah, like well well thought out. Uh, at least a paragraph. Yeah, yeah. You and know, like like uh, smartly written. In a not way. improvisation. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> Not, uh, you know, someone saying something and then a long silence while the other person tries to think of something witty to say after it. Yeah, yeah, we would never just fucking Just pure, do that. unadulterated intro, mm-hmm. just like a real podcast intro. Like, like a like real you, one. You know. You clip that, that <laughs> first, like, ten seconds, and then that's the preview of they're like, oh, this might be a really interesting show that's not <laughs> just improvised, <laughs> intoxicated bullshit. But that's really what it is. Um, if you made it this, I mean, far. the real funny thing is that I had Chat GPT write that intro. <laughs> it, it wrote it. I not. I mean, I, I I edited it a little bit because it was very repetitive. Uh, I you know uh-huh. I gave it the prompt like I want you to write me an intro to a podcast that's about being a scumbag in the American Midwest, mm, okay, and that's why okay. it, you know it was talking about the gritty underbelly of yeah, that was... society <laughs> and the people that live on the fringes of it <laughs> because they live in the American Midwest, which is like the exact opposite of being on the fringe, oh, the fringe, yeah, geographically yeah, at least. Like, like that's not the fringe at all, but that's where we live. The dark. The seed, what the seedy? No, it the wasn't gritty seedy underbelly. Gritty. It was a gritty mm. underbelly mm. of society. Gritty, like a like a Zack Snyder cut. There's the that's that's really what like eventually he'll listen to all of our podcasts and then like compile them into one really good podcast that's like the per- like the perfect podcast, but it also has like a like a darker tone <laughs> over it. You know what I mean? It'll be like when, uh, uh, whatever, Topher Grace, like, edited the Star Wars films to make them just, like, really coherent. Oh, did he, he do that? Really... I think so. Uh, I believe it was Topher Grace that did it. Mm, Toph. He, I, I don't know, I think it was the, the prequels, and he, like, edited them down to, like, a master cut. Oh. <laughs> it's only, like, an hour and a half or two hours. It only has all the important shit. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Instead of, you know, mo- pre- I think he pretty much just cut out all of episode one. <laughs> <laughs> Except for, you know, like the the trade negotiations and then also Duel of the Fates. That was like it. That's yeah. all that's in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are pretty much the only important parts of those star. Yeah, but... uh. I forgot what I said. AI. AI. What do you think about AI? Like, I don't seriously. Know. It fucking, like, it creeps me out, dude. It's it's scary. Like, it's almost as if it's, like, the the first step towards, like, singularity. You know what I mean? Like, the... Where man and machine become one. Mm-hmm. The complete... One single unity. Integration of biology and mechanized mechanical mechanics metal and stuff i Um, think i've read too many like 
really <laughs> bleak scenarios with AI. Yeah, you know, in sci-fi, like I, I like the 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 big one I think of probably the most you know known one is I have no mouth and I must scream. Oh my god! Yeah, which was like you know creating this giant supercomputer underneath the that you know had a whatever motherboard that spanned the entire circumference of the earth mm-hmm. <laughs> and it just all it really became was just learn to hate humans oh. so it you know devised a way to torture them for all of eternity Ugh. um i you know i don't i don't know if AI is gonna get there i don't know if we're gonna have like skynet yeah, level shit i hope not but you know i hope it's just it really tame to... yeah like the way Chat GPT, from what I've been hearing and seeing, and everything that's been talked about it, is that it's absolutely insane. That the things that it can do, and even if it does have like a like a woke chain around its neck, it's still like fucking crazy. All the shit that it can do. I mean, right? it's AI. It's it's yeah. virtually. It's you know the potential is limitless yeah. as long as it can keep changing. Uh, it's learning models or however it works mm-hmm. i mean i know it's a very complex process i mean it's much the same way that a brain works and that it just takes different thoughts and then it associates other thoughts with those i mean they're not thoughts they're to electrical AI, but... signals which is weird right. because that's exactly what they are in our brains too it's just we have like an organic way of interpreting electrical signals and then a computer brain does the same thing, except it's like silicone. It's like not organic yeah. matter, but it's it's, it's the same process. <laughs> yeah, isn't that wild? It makes it, but does I mean it? It feels like that makes sense, and the organic brain is the one that's weird. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. So then it's like, where did the organic brain come from? Why did we? Why? Why? Why can we do these things with our noggins that? No other species on Earth can do that. May, I mean, it makes me think that like uh, simulation theory has some has some like bone to it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it, it's so weird and specifically like you know, and things are all the same and then different. And it's all patterns, and it just it goes patterns all the way down and it's just the same thing over and over and it repeats into infinity and it's like well isn't that what code does isn't that what binary fucking like the matrix is you know i I don't know i don't know ai freaks me out is what i'm trying to say and i can't even like it is weird (laughs) like the fear is overcoming uh... me right now and i don't even understand how to express my thoughts on it <laughs> I don't know. it's a lot to take in it really is it and i mean i've been using it you know just uh, just feeding it, it random questions making it stronger yeah. well yeah that's i mean that's the whole point teaching to, it the uh, way you know, it has all these humanity. data points that i can reach out and it's us into it, you know they didn't make it free out of the kindness of their hearts. There is yeah. like a paid version or something you can do that has access to more robust AI mm-hmm. models mm-hmm. or whatever mm-hmm. and learning. But the free one, I mean, it works fine for what it does. Um, Dude, like, like if it was around, <laughs> have, uh, if it was around when we were still in like school, I wouldn't have. The, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have like failed psych. Psychol I didn't fail psychology. I just didn't write any of the papers that one year and passed. I mean, y- uh, yes, it can do like, papers for you. If like, it you can be like, <sighs> write me an essay for over this topic, and it will. And then yeah. all you have to do is make some minor, well, not minor, <laughs> but you have to make some edits <laughs> to it to make it sound like it's in your. I mean, if you're smart uh, about it, you could get away with it. Yeah, um, as long as you like least... edit out the the phrases like "gritty underbelly" and uh, yes, the, <laughs> whatever. You should have seen that was. thing before I edited it. It was like it had to make a reference to the name of the episode at least three times. Jesus Christ! And it's like it in like one Midwest sentence. Midwest scumbags explore the Midwest scumbags with the Midwest scumbags. Ugh. Yuck, dude. I don't even like our name you that only much. Need to, you need to name drop once, and that's it. 
with as popular as we are, we don't have to name drop at all. We could just cold open. I mean, honestly, that's. I could just. I could just. I. I could. Uh, my other like, if that had fell through, my other uh, uh, option or idea was I was going to cold open with. Uh, do you think that if there is a heaven, if you uh, <laughs> are killed in a drunk driving accident, do they breathalyze you at the gates? Whoa! Like, do you get breathalyzed? Damn, like, is that a thing? That's a good question. Like, be, it, it, it puts me in the situation because my thought was if you're in a drunk driving accident, I wasn't thinking that I was the drunk driver. I, th- I was thinking that I was the innocent life taken out, snuffed out by some drunk piece of shit, and, and then I get breathalyzed at the gates. And it's like, whoa. Well, that'd be, that'd be kind of fucked up. Yeah, right. Like that'd be really you know, fucked up. Like but I maybe mean, this is heaven after all. Yeah, like maybe your remains are so mashed together in the accident that like even the angels are like, "Fuck, we don't know which one was doing what here." And then they like. I mean, maybe they just breathalyze everybody. Maybe that's just one of the things <laughs> they don't put in the Bible <laughs> that, like, when you're when you're getting judged, <laughs> that like the last step is like, all right, well, you pass, but you have to take this breathalyzer. Damn. You have to make sure you weren't drunk when you died. Damn, that would suck for so many people who were just like, I just want one last one last taste of my vineyard's home wine that was, you know, hand stomped by my grandfather. I just want to die with the taste of my family in my mouth, like the family vineyard. He's a he's he's like a guy who lived on a vineyard. And he's like eighty years old and grew up like smashing grapes with his with his feet and uh, I don't know, doing other wine stuff. I don't know why I'm going off on this guy's backstory. It doesn't really matter because. He gets breathalyzed at the gates of heaven, and yeah, everyone you know, gets guess, breathalyzed at the gates of heaven. Guess who that? <laughs> vin- you guess where that vineyard's going? Straight to hell. That's right. Or vin- vineyard, vinter. You can have some. You can have some. I mean, this is Catholic mm. heaven, oh, which is okay, the only okay. correct interpretation of heaven, right? Or <laughs> so <stuff. laughs> it's okay. It's okay to like be a little bit drunk. You know, you can. You know. You know what they say. They say uh, God gives his drunkest drivers the most dangerous mm-hmm. roads. <laughs> and, is that in uh, the Bible? <laughs> that is in the Bible, yeah. <laughs> Ezekiel uh, 21, 13. <laughs> that's a, wow, that's a powerful saying, dude. You can get that tattooed on me. That's, that's a good one. There's nothing wrong with the little booze crews. Mm-hmm. There's, like, mm-hmm. God says that's okay. Yeah. It's just going to be tough. Thou shalt booze yeah. cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the Bible says I... You just can't I... be like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's okay because the Bible says mm-hmm, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's the only book that you uh, need. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, uh, where did that come from? The question... That's how we op- yeah, that's how we open the show. It's talking about uh, Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it's, we could have cold opened if we wanted to and it uh-huh. would have been awesome, yeah. obviously. Just like if that. the past like 3 or 4 minutes are any indication mm-hmm. of what it could have been. What it could have been. What it could have been. We'll never know because I'm not going to like cut out the opening and post to make that the new opening. That's like way too much fucking work, dude. I'm not going to do that. So I don't know. Like, even the one time that I <laughs> I edited the intro I did to make Robot Voice. Do you remember that one? Oh, Let's, yeah. I'm reminisce about our own podcast for a minute, but mm-hmm. I don't even remember how I did that. Uh, I no longer remember the steps, so, like, I, I can't reproduce Robot Voice. Like, maybe I can, uh... I, I, like, I'll have to look... I'll have to look it up again, but... It's I, probably in a YouTube video somewhere. Probably, yeah. It's probably in just ask Chat GPT. Mm-hmm. I bet it knows. It probably does. Looking at my, it'll like look through all your files, sort by date, right, and then run your like which files you access on what dates and graph it, and be like, well, you seem to play a lot of uh, cyberpunk on like Tuesday nights. That's really, you know. Maybe you need to change your habits. Like, it's, you're not getting enough sleep. Can it do that? Is, what? Chat GPT. Well, when I sleep, I... You know, I have a really... 
I have a love hate relationship with sleep because I love sleeping. I love it. I uh-huh. absolutely love it. I would do it 12 hours a day if it were, uh, you know, healthy yeah. or economical. It's, I mean, it's kind of economical because if you sleep through, uh, like when you need to eat, mm. then yeah, you don't have to buy as much food. That's true. It works the opposite way of like of like babies. You know, babies sleep all the time and they're fat. Right, or they get fat even though they sleep all the time. Oh yeah, I mean, sure, they they yeah. need to be. They gotta but feed they that. Be. That brain yeah. takes up a lot of fucking processing power. You gotta uh-huh. feed that shit. Yeah, or else you you turn into like a uh a retard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good punchline. That was <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> You like the pause? It was I. Yeah. It wasn't like I wasn't like thinking. Oh, should I say that word? And then no, nah, I don't fuck give a it, shit. Dude. Who cares? Yeah. Out of all the words you can say, that one's not that like that, that bad. bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, you know, you shouldn't say it, but whatever. Yeah. Whatever. You, call, you can't like call people mad anymore. I hear that's bad. Like, like you've gone mad. You're real. Yeah. You're real lunatic nutta. also fell out of favor, too. Uh, you don't really call people lunatics mm-hmm. anymore. Yeah, because there's actual lunatics who, like, worship the moon, and they're like, you can't use that word anymore. And Oh, uh, yeah. Know, the band word. Literally. Literally lunatics. I think that's where that came from. I don't know what uh, it Yeah, it has something to do with the moon. Yeah. It was more like how the moon affects your psychology. Because, you know. Uh witches and stuff right right because the moon is bad because it's not the sun is that the is that the uh the logic behind it like the sun is cool because it's hot i don't know yeah yeah the sun is cool because it's hot Uh uh-huh uh-huh i mean people thought the sun was god (laughs) For a really long time, so I think that's you true. know, yeah, that's fair. I mean, they and the moon was a goddess, mm-hmm. but the sun. I mean, you know, yeah, they must not. If have it liked was just it. the moon all the time, we'd be dead. Yeah, but the sun all the time. It would, you know, we could probably live with that. You'd probably be okay. Like we can make uh, like eye masks and stuff. You know, those goofy. Oh, like those like Alaskan ones in the late eighteen hundreds. Those like little thin slit. Goggles. What? That'd be cool. That I didn't know. I, I yeah. don't know about that, but that's awesome. That sounds. Cool. Oh yeah, I th- it's there's like a the famous picture of a. It was it's like an Alaskan, you know, like Native an Eskimo. American, yes, an Eskimo, and they have these like wooden goggles that just have like they look very cyberpunky. <laughs> because oh, it's that's just cool. like these wooden goggles with the thin slit, uh-huh. but it's because the you know it filters out the sun it works as a because it's very bright when there's a lot of snow yeah and sun yeah so oh and it blocks oh i see i see if you have the slits right in the middle it blocks out the top and the bottom which is where the bright yeah they're like slits Uh horizontally across you know they kind of look like tanning glasses i I don't know what those look like they're they're like uh God, like the goggle, like swimming goggles mm. is what it's like. Oh, is there swimming oh, tanning, goggles? like getting in a tanning booth. Okay. I thought yeah, I, I, yeah. my my brain was like tanning, like tanning a hide. Like there's a certain kind of goggles that like hide tanners wear, but I don't think we tan hides like that anymore. Like stretching them out on the, on the thing, you know? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. By the way, I did ask Chat GPT to uh, <laughs> uh, create a robot voice in Audacity, and it gave me a ten-step, nine-step list. Oh on wow! How to do it? Okay. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see if that you know we'll put it somewhere in the in the show mm-hmm. if it works. <laughs> <There were> <laughs> I'll send it to you after, and you can just pick a random segment to add it to. Probably to that segment where you're like talking about it and saying you don't know how to do it. That's actually really that good. That would be yeah. funny. Yeah. Nope. I think I'm going to do that. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. 
man. Oh, speaking of uh, madness, um, the reason I brought that up, the it, we just we just got through March Madness, right? The NBA. Do you know the the like original, uh, the origination of March Madness? That phrase. No. Nope. No. They they actually you see back in the day there were hat makers in London, right? And they they went mad from the. From the fumes from making hats. Or oh, whatever. like the mercury yeah. that they would put in the hats the mercury, for some reason. Yeah, the, see the detail that they leave out in most books is that they were making hats for the NBA. And that's what made them go mad. And then... The NBA? like The, the NBA, the National Basketball Association, yeah. They were the ones who caused... And they were wearing hats uh -huh. that were making them mad? They were making, Wait, yeah. what year? They were making what year is this? <laughs> They were making. You said that. it back in the day. What year? <laughs> um, uh, nineteen twenty-three. I mean, you know, just general, yeah, yeah. Like, so like early twentieth yeah. century. Early, sure, yeah, that sounds right. Um, twenty, yeah, twenty, mm -hmm. yeah. But that's where the phrase "March Madness" comes from. Is they were making hats for the NBA and going mad, and they were like, oh. The playoffs, that's kind of a lame name. What if we call it March Madness? And then like there you know, there's been a civil suit and they've tried to they've tried to uncover that like truth for years now. And I'm breaking the news. Uh -huh. I'm an investigative journalist, is what I'm saying. And that's the the real scoop on March Madness and where it really came from. I just thought, you know. That's fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Why were why were people in the what were the hats for? It was <laughs> just like it. <laughs> it was I mean, to sell. I, when, to, like when I think the of the NBA. modern NBA. Yeah. yeah. When I think of the modern NBA, you know, I think Kobe Bryant uh -huh. and uh uh that's the only name that comes to mind. <laughs> there was that guy that died in the helicopter. That was Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Because we say Kobe when we like throw stuff and do it. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's like the only one I know. Mm -hmm. But they don't wear hats. They wear headbands. Yeah, but people buy. So did the NBA in the past? They would wear hats. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you would you would dress up fine. It was back in the day when you were, you know, going out in public. It back was a in big, the day, it was a big deal. <laughs> uh huh. It was a big deal back then, and you would put on your finest suit, and you know, uh, go over to your best gal's house and be like, "Hey, we're gonna go and uh, watch not watch the National Basketball Association's production of their playoff game number one." And they're like, and okay. Then take that fine li fine lady home and be like, babe, the mercury hat stays on during mm -hmm, sex. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then she's like, no, take it off. And you're like, well, if I'm I can't. I'm literally going <laughs> mad. I'm <laughs> I can't. Like, well, I'm going mad. And now I'm going to run off and hang out with a giant bunny rabbit and cut uh, cups in half and say only half a cup or something and make that joke. And then eventually be Johnny Depp. Event, yeah, it all leads back to Johnny Depp uh, eventually. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter what IP it is. Nope. It's it usually it boils down to Johnny Depp. Shout out to Johnny Depp. Welcome on the show anytime. Yeah, uh, good uh, good reference with the Mad mm -hmm. Hatter from yeah. Alice in Wonderland being a reference to thank you. What it, it was <laughs> a know, reference the, to the March Madness to Hatters. Yeah. Uh, putting mercury in their hats mm -hmm. for whatever reason yeah that would leach into your brain <laughs> well it would leach into the the nba fans brains because they were the ones who were originally going to buy the hats but like you know halfway through making them the nba got word like oh hey the hatters that we uh contracted in london are they're going mad <laughs> they had to cover it up so yeah. 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 I just thought that was a fun fact about uh the month of March that everybody needs to know about. Wasn't Caesar killed in March? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, the I Ides of March. A fun yeah. Fact. Yeah. March 15th, right? Yeah. Yeah, was the day he was betrayed. Mhm. Mm 
Because he made some, I mean, po- he made some pretty bad decisions politically. Yeah, but... like, he was, like, he was cool, but he was also, like, a bad guy. Like, he was an emperor, and usually emperors aren't, like, they aren't, like, good dudes, you know? You don't become emperor by being, uh, like, really nice to people and de-escalating situations. No, you, you become emperor by, like, Stabbing Creating people, an empire, and conquering yeah. <laughs> other and countries yeah. or independent nations to expand your empire. Mm-hmm. Wearing those like really nice travel sandals that you would also wear to war. That like you know Caesar had them, and like Alexander the Great, like he had he had sandals. And uh, I think sandals might be part of the the key. Nobody wears we sandals need to bring anymore. Those back. Yeah. We we need to start wearing sandals again. It's it's about uh it's about summertime. I think the sandals will make a resurgence. I need to buy some. Do you own sandals? Yeah. Uh no, I own flip flops, which oh. are like a bastardization <laughs> of sandals. <laughs> True sandals, like they you'd like strap them around no, your I, feet. No, like flip flops that you just flip flops like a fourteen year old girl. <laughs> They they sit right next to my giant uh, novelty Homer Simpson oh. uh, <laughs> house house slippers. Oh shit, dude! I had a pair of those when I was a child. The little the Homer Simpson like the slippers that keep your feet warm, and you would step into his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of weird in a retrospect, but yeah, you know, yeah, a little didn't bit. Think about it much at that time. Mm-hmm. It was just a funny little novelty gag. Yeah, and it was functional. That's I really like. And they did keep your feet shit. warm. Yeah, I had some that weren't Homer Simpson. I can't remember who it was. It was some other. Maybe it was Brian from Family Guy. Nice. Or Stewie. Stewie. I can't remember. I could see that. <laughs> But it said it would be like sideways. You step into his ear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it wasn't that. It definitely. It was definitely another like mascot, and you stepped into its mouth. But uh, it wasn't. Uh... God, I can't even remember. But I know, Snoopy? like, because my stepbrother had the the Homer Simpson ones, and I had the other. Ah. Uh, Whatever was available at Walmart at the time, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think that's where we got them originally. We yeah, that's where they were marketed. Yeah, that's where all that shit's always marketed. I went in there uh, the other day and I was like looking through like because I need some new shirts, and I you know I like wearing shirts that have graphic stuff on it. You uh-huh. know, it's fine. Right. But like some of the stuff they have in there now is just retarded. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there. I mean, there obviously is some stuff that is very heavily marketed to Zoomers. Then there's the stuff that's like heavily marketed to Millennials. That's mm. you know, it's like, oh, here's a Pac-Man shirt. Mm. Here's a, here's a Zelda yeah. 16-bit whatever shirt. And then like Zoomers, it's like here's a bunch of fucking cats <laughs> on a shirt, just all like it's like a bad Tim and Eric Photoshop. You know, it's oh, just a whole man. bunch of random shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you know, of course, the stuff that's like, oh, it's here's Fortnite, here's Five Nights at Fetties, and mm-hmm. I was thinking of the millennial shirt. It's just a t- it's just like a black T-shirt that just says like, I want to kill myself on it. Like... <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. No, it's always like, oh, here's a thing that you probably remember, and it's just getting mm-hmm. like soon. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like Nintendo sixty four shit. It's gonna be yeah. like. Like Goldeneye, it'll be like James Bond and his fucking pol- polygonal face, mm. and that's all it is. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I would probably wear that. Just That'd the low really res, good. like the cover of the game where he's just yeah, it's like Pierce Brosnan. It'd be like the cover of the game, like but it'd be the like a low res picture of the cartridge <laughs> with the game cover on it. <laughs> Damn. 
That's an awesome. That's yeah. That that's a cool shirt, dude. We need to start yeah, like I'm, making merch. I was thinking about. I was thinking about this. Line? Yeah, we need to like sell shit. People want to buy shit from us, right? That's why they listen to the podcast. Yeah. I I want to like make uh like hand thrown ceramic mugs. You know, like I want to just buy like a fifty gallon, <laughs> not fifty gallon, uh. For like fifty pounds of like clay, and I'll just like hand make a bunch of mugs and sell them. Like just, but like I don't know, tie them into the podcast somehow. You know, they'd have to be Midwest and scumbag related. Yeah, yeah. so I have to figure that With, out. You know, old jokes thrown in, peppered uh-huh. in there. You know, we'd have like the the birthday cake. Yeah, flavored I need to glaze. make the birthday cake stamp. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. Okay, okay. See, all I needed to, I just needed to bring it up to you. Now, 100% approved by both parties of the company, I am now making mm. mugs. And you can <laughs> buy them. And you can you can buy them. You can uh-huh. get the, the Patreon exclusive making of mm. the mugs mm-hmm. where Elliot I just video is, myself uh, making shirtless the mugs. and we <laughs> just like, kiln yeah like firing up a mug in a kiln <laughs> it'll just, just shirtless yeah. the whole time that's cool Absolutely. that's not a bad idea all right you have to grow your beard out mm-hmm. pretty yeah. long and it has to be like you've been living at this you know wherever you're making <laughs> these mugs it'll we'll only rent the place for a day yeah but like a, some sort of log cabin or drink for a week yeah you have to be completely shredded <laughs> get that real that real it. gaunt look it's so hot these days. Yeah. And be dehydrated so you see every fucking vein in my Every arm. vein. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'm just like hand, hand, <laughs> hand putting mugs into the kiln. <laughs> just standing yeah. there waiting. <laughs> and it's like It'd not even time lapse. Yeah, it's not even time lapse. It's like real time, you know. You you like you get that one really good like scene of you like shoving the thing into the f- kiln and the fires coming out and burning off the hairs on your chest and then like the next hour is just you kind of <laughs> sitting there waiting <laughs> for it to be done. You check and look at your your you know your f- fucking iPhone watch mm-hmm. every couple of minutes to make sure. Yeah, yeah. You might check your email or something while you're Yeah, just waiting. like sitting there. There's, you know, it's like it's not enough time to like go get a book and read, but, you know, too much time to I mean, you have to wait. watch it. Yeah. You don't want it to like come out shitty because yeah. this is for our customers. It's for our customers, yeah. And they want a product that I put my heart and soul and blood and sweat and tears into i have to cry into the cups while i'm making them too that's part of it is i'm sure it was and crying the into the clay uh-huh. there's always a little bit of elliot's tears yeah. in every everything he makes yeah like you'd also have a sweatshop too mm-hmm. where we make shirts and stuff but it would just be a regular <laughs> sweatshop that we you know but all the but all the like sweatshop workers are also shirtless because <laughs> Because it's just, you know, that's just how we do business around yes. here. That's our company. We'd have it in, like, Vietnam, and it wouldn't be, you know, we would actually hire adults because we can't, we obviously can't have children working shirtless. Yeah, yeah, that's a know? problem. So we would hire adults. We'd pay them, you know, twice mm-hmm. what we'd pay the kids. So, like, you know, 30 cents a day. Yeah, that's f- that's fair. That's, like, that's to make, generous. To make shirts for mm-hmm. our like a uh, brand or clothing <laughs> brand that we would have on you know we would make like some like really just shitty shit like yeah, just really just fucking some stupid. blue jeans that are all ripped up or whatever but they'd be you know <laughs> we'd have those that would be like 10 you know three thousand dollars easy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah you just sew in like some leggings in between them and then it's like hey there you go look at that it's like two pants and one it's a bargain at three thousand dollars a piece. Three thousand dollars, yeah. It's nothing. That's nothing. I mean, that's you know. We're looking for the clientele that's only looking to wear something once, <laughs> ever, <laughs> and, and then throw never it wear away it again. Immediately, immediately throw it away. 
Yeah. We're trying to stack up, like, if we have enough of our own shit that we produce, and, like, we throw enough of it into a landfill, then we can, uh, do something, we can do something with that land, right? There's gotta be some way that we can, like, uh, uh, run one of those, uh, like, steamrollers over a landfill, and then, like, you know, pave it and make it into a town or something. Right? All that trash? It can't just be trash. Yeah. Uh, so you're suggesting we take, like, a steamroller and roll over a waste... Yes. Uh, ...collection site? We- yeah. Yes. <laughs> we roll that over until mm. it's like a very thin layer. Yeah, it's nice and flat. Nice and flat. So you can lay okay. a foundation of like other... Uh, oh. Well, you take you take some of the other trash and then you throw it in one of those like wood chipper things, but instead of making wood chips, it makes cement. Like those exist, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, um, okay. You, you I see just, where you're going with you this. You throw it all in And then in we thing. build low-income housing on it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then we rent out all those low income housings. But then Yeah, it doesn't matter if they pay a hundred bucks or five hundred, we're still getting that money from the, you know, government. Yeah, yeah. And then we build another set of like low income housing, but we let squatters take it over. And then uh like subtly encourage them to like I don't know, encroach on the on the paying renters locations oh we have them we have them all claim squatters rights Uh uh-huh uh-huh and then they destroy the property and we collect a huge insurance payout yes yes and then we close the property down because obviously there were a bunch of squatters living in it Mm -hmm. that were claiming squatters rights we had to take each of them to court individually yeah and then once it's all (laughs) while we paid them to destroy the property (laughs) Yeah, good luck we proving them a that. Lot though. Less than what we were going to get back from insurance. Mm-hmm. Good luck proving that in a court of law. Come on, you can't use yeah, this podcast never as evidence. To it. <laughs> no, you can't, because <laughs> it's all hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, this is all just a uh, just a question. All right, right, right. Where did it this come from? It would just be from? a mere coincidence if the events lined up in such a way that we did this exact thing. <laughs> Even many years after we forgot about recording this (laughs) podcast and putting it on the air. Because it's 100% going to happen. I'm for sure going to forget what we talk about. I've I've forgotten, like, we have like 60-some episodes, dude. And I... I've memory-holed all of them. Yeah, I remember like two bits about like birthday cakes and doing whippets. Um... And... We had a bit where you were holding a gun, you were keeping me hostage. Oh, yeah, that's the yeah. framework of this entire this entire shtick. That's, is, that's uh, right. You know, it's a hostage you've situation. Been sitting at this table for years. Uh-huh. <laughs> and this, yeah, this <laughs> podcast is how I like put my demands out to the to the negotiator. Like the negotiator has to listen to each podcast and then be like, okay, uh, and then make a rival podcast that like. Is that answers are, we did we did that before, didn't we? Did we? Um, that that they have a rival podcast, but it's oh yeah, also we do our have podcast. Rival podcast. I can't remember what the name is, but but yeah, <laughs> but it's also us. Is the I I think was the term. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oof, we are not very far into this. Uh, End of this episode. No. We aren't. You think an AI could write a podcast like this? Come on. This off the walls? Yeah, it wouldn't... I don't, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. Like, do you think if we fed enough of our podcasts into an AI, and then they would, like, replicate our voices, do you think that it's good enough to do that? Oh yeah, absolutely. As long as I mean, we they've done Joe Rogan, they've mm-hmm. done they've done U.S. presidents. Yeah, <laughs> that true. sound. You know, they're not like super believable. Uh huh. Yet, they're getting better. They're getting pretty good. The AI voices, I should say. Yeah, Dagoff. Yes, I think we've yeah. 
you know, if we uh, were to train an AI with our voices, which can be done, there's a, it's a different, it's not chat GPT that does it. It's some different uh, AI yeah. and something model. Else. Uh-huh. But that's where all those come from uh-huh. as well as the like, the like mouth, like that's the weird one is like, they'll take a still image and make it speak or they'll take a moving image and they'll use that data to train an image to speak what? so you can get, you know, Donald Trump or any of the U S presidents to like, it'll read their mouth movements from all their speeches and just take like a still from them sitting behind the, you know, the podium what? and it'll, it, it looks legit. That's crazy. <laughs> I saw the one of Biden that was like, Russia has, uh, you know, declared nuclear war on us, so we're retaliating. Mm, mm. Moscow was gone. Damn. Ugh. And, it, and I mean, it sounds like Biden. It really does. I mean, the Trump one is pretty good, but it doesn't get his, uh, uh, what do you call it, intonation. Yeah. Quite right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Intonation. Yeah, good. Good word. Thank you. Yeah, I learned about that in choir classes because I took choir like a fucking loser, dummy. I mean, you're either a music fag or you were a like drama fag, yeah. or or you were all uh, of the above. <laughs> all of the above. <laughs> I mean, weren't we, weren't we, uh, like high up in the like reading club or whatever in high uh, school? Yeah, fuck creative writing club, bro. Hell yeah. I forget. I think I had a position, but I didn't do anything. Is that right? I didn't, I, or maybe no, we maybe did. it was you. We did. We were like executive positions. Jesus Christ! We didn't do anything. I literally did nothing. <laughs> we barely showed up no, to the meetings. Bar- yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Damn. And that librarian lady who was like the head of it. She was so nice all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I felt bad. <laughs> But it was like senior year, and it was like, I don't have time for this bullshit. Yeah, I was too busy figuring out drugs and how to be as lazy as possible and fucking take a bunch of stagecraft so I could just hang out on the fucking stagecraft stage. And See, yeah, you were uh, smart about it. You yeah. took, like, really easy classes. Yeah, I did. I took team games, brother. <laughs> team games, where you just, like, it's PE. But it's literally you just... just play dodgeball or whatever. Yeah, like. You don't even have to, like, lift weights or No, just anything. the fun parts of PE. It's all it was. It was, <laughs> it was like, today we're going to. That rocks. Yeah, do tennis. And we just fucking did tennis one day for, like, a week. And then. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember after that. I do, because my experience senior year was horrible. Man. It was awful. Yeah. I took, like, all the advanced classes, and I had yeah. a really bad time, because I'm smart, mm-hmm. but... You just had I, to try to prove it to people, man. That's what it was. I, yeah, I know, and I'm I'm lazy. I don't have a good work ethic. I remember my AP English class, like she assigned some fucking bullshit assignment over winter break, and it was like make a poster about this book I'm assigning you to read. And I remember I literally made the poster the night before <laughs> that <laughs> class, and it was like, <laughs> you know, because I had some like really like overachievers in my class, so I had these. Like, I was competing with these, like, really intricately designed and well-thought-out posters. My shit was, like, a timeline with stick figures. Yeah. I like, black Sharpie on a white poster board. Yeah. Basically. Basically. That shit was hung up in the hall for, like... (laughs) 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 Oh, shit. Looking back, it's funny. It's funny now. Yeah. But, like, after it happened, I was like, fuck... God, I'm fucking retarded and <laughs> stupid. Because <laughs> there were some legit very good woods that had a lot of effort put into them. And here I was. like, I still passed. Yeah. I, mean, I got like a C on it. <laughs> That's all that matters, dude. It's, you know, I... That's all that mattered yeah. then. And I mean, it's really all... Because, you know, no child left behind. Yeah. I mean, you could be literally... You could be room. literally brain dead and yeah. still graduate. <laughs> exactly, and get a scholarship, dude. Straight up, like. I yeah. I mean, I got scholarships, and I'm I'm stupid. Yeah. I mean, I'm. <laughs> I'm I'm not like 
you know, yeah, a super crazy overachiever that had to get all the super crazy fun scholarships. I didn't, but I mean, I was you know dumb, and I was still able to get scholarships. That's how bad it is. Yeah, it's it's you know, there's no, uh, like there used to be an exit test back in like the eighties, mm. early nineties for high school, and it would be like. If you hit senior year, you had to take a test. If you didn't pass that test, you wouldn't graduate. Oh, I see. It would be like... It, it's, it wouldn't be as hard as the ACT. It would be more like the PSAT. Hmm, okay. If that makes sense. Yeah, I didn't it take be, that, but I, I you see. You didn't have to. <laughs> it'd, be like a, it'd be like a GED test, right? Like a pretty yeah yes it's basically did you learn stuff yeah in, in high like, school like did you learn the bare minimum of like how to fucking read a ruler and can you do um, basic algebra mm-hmm. would probably be the I mean if even that yeah. I mean I think it was like an eighth grade eighth grade comprehension yeah is what you need to have to pass high pass high school <laughs> like can you read this sentence yes no like check boxes and it's like if you check yes that's yeah you learned how to read good job yeah no they get they just you know pushed us into college and focused on that so it was like okay well i can just fucking do whatever and not care and that's what i did i just didn't care It's worked out pretty well so far. Yeah, yeah. Look at us, super successful businessmen with a undeniably hilarious podcast and, uh, you know, millions of adoring fans. We're very trendy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're hip with all the latest fads. You know, we haven't aged mm-hmm. mentally at all <laughs> since high school. <laughs> that's yeah that's pretty i mean my sense of humor is still pretty much the same like it hasn't changed much i had this one thought okay um you know uh garth enos the guy who wrote preacher right Uh uh-huh what if he what if his name was garth penis and uh you know he made he made preacher but like instead of Jesse being like a cool preacher dude, he's just like, I don't know, like a super, super flamboyant, like pray away the gay preacher. Like he's super gay. Yeah. yeah like he like he sucks like, the evil out of your dick. Yeah. yeah. Gay. <laughs> yes. That's his ability. <laughs> Instead of getting the voice of God, he gets the ability to suck evil, but like remove evil. It's It'd be like the green mile dude, except he has to suck oh, your dick. But he has to suck your to dick. To remove too. the evil from your body. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that'd be cool, right? That'd be a fun story. Yeah, yeah, no, that'd be, yeah, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be one way to tell the story. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about stories. You can alter them however you want, and nobody can tell you you're wrong. That's right. That's right. I might write that fanfic now. That's... I have too many things that I'm trying to do at once. I think that's the problem. I'm just a man. Ladies and gentlemen, just a small, cute little man who has too many projects. Uh, what if it was like, uh, it, instead of the Black Parade, it was the Black Parade, and it was just Gerard Way getting <laughs> wrecked by a bunch of black dudes for an hour? <laughs> just having a train run on him. But it's not like a video, it's just the audio. Oh, it's just the like that's the album. (laughs) It's just like an hour and three minutes of him screaming. It's terrible. It's absolutely. It'd be like that Piper Perry image, except it's just Gerard Uh Way. (laughs) (laughs) Whew. Well, there's the thumbnail. That's that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof. Fuck, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> it's been crazy. It's been a. It's been fun. I know. It took a week off there. I was super fucking depressed. 
that last week. That yeah. I just, like, did nothing but paint my Warhammer figures. It's, like, the only thing that I could fucking do. I mean, that sounds healthy. I yeah. mean, it's a good, healthy outlet. It's not like you shot up a school or something. That's true. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Instead, you painted Warhammer figurines. Mm-hmm. That's good. That is a he- it is healthier, right? That's when compared to shooting up a school. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, it's definitely the definitely better option. a lot healthier. Uh-huh. Or doing heroin or crack. That's true. I could have just been been shooting, shooting up, <laughs> <laughs> shooting up either a school or myself, but I, I didn't do yeah, that. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. But you uh, opted to paint Warhammer figurines, and mm-hmm. that's cool. That's, that's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Warhammer's blowing up right now. It's a tenth edition is coming out. They're redoing uh like Terminators so they uh they look cool or or something. They're getting new uh miniatures and then at some point fucking um Space Marine two is supposed to come out. I didn't play the first one, but I heard it was pretty cool. Um yeah, I don't know. It's pretty sick. It's a good time to get into Warhammer, I think. I I bought, like, one box of a bunch of shit, and by the time I assemble them and paint them and everything, it'll be, like, summertime when the new shit comes out, and I can be, like, you know, I can mm. buy it without the guilt of, like, having a bunch of shit unfinished, you know? So, just for reference, how much do one of these kits cost in American dollars? Ooh, um, I think I, the I think I paid, I paid like two hundred bucks for this one that I have. That, but it came yeah, that with about right. Yeah, but it came with like twenty seven little figures, and like one of them is uh, Adrax Agatone, the Hammer of Nocturne. It was like, I don't know, he's like a That high... was my nickname in high school. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, the Hammer of Nocturne, man. But I mean, he's like a fucking like $45 figure on his own, so... Okay, you know. well, that's cool. Yeah, and then it, it came with... It's also not as woke. Yeah, it's not, from what I've seen. They're... Like, it's the grim, dark future, and everybody's at war with everybody. There's no there's no room for, like, any kind of political or social or any kind of, like, feelings, because everybody's just killing everybody. Like, the Imperium of Man is out trying to kill all the fucking filthy Xeno scum that's plaguing our universe, our galaxy, rather, and then, uh... You know, the orcs are trying to fucking kill shit, and the Tyranids just want to eat shit, and the Necrons are like, hey, we're fucking robots, and uh, also skeletons, and we want to kill shit, and like, there's, you know, it, it, it's just killing shit. It's fucking sick. You're not worried about the gender of the alien that you're, like, you know shoving a chain sword into like yeah you don't really have time to worry about that yeah in the grim dark universe yeah i mean it's the 41st millennium come on come on we've already progressed past that shit and just regressed into a crazy theocracy the whole imperium of man and stuff it's there's so much lore and like the emperor <laughs> is like <laughs> I don't know, his story is that he has been around since before, even, like, I don't know, since, like, the dawn of humanity, and he's, like, been guiding it into the future, and he, like, you know, takes credit for being, like, Jesus and Mohammed and um, also Hitler and, like, all the, like, all the big historical figures that have shaped human history he's like, like kept him. alive yeah. by his throne right oh yeah in the like future his throne is yeah. like a whole yeah uh, now he's he's a he, medical suite yeah the golden throne i think is what it's called or something i don't know he's like hooked up to it and he's like in a vegetative state that's like keeping him alive but 
it's weird. Yeah, you know, it's super. It's fucking crazy, dude. There's so much shit to it. It's filling up my. Uh, it's filling up my time. So look forward to that until I drag you in. I mean, any time the Warhammer, like if I <laughs> somehow stumble across a link that leads to the Warhammer wiki. I, I will potentially lose, you know, most of my day just reading yeah. <laughs> articles and stuff in it just right? because the lore is that deep. It is. It's insane how deep it goes. And it's, you know, it's been going on since like the 80s or something. 80s, yeah. yeah. I think it's as old as D&D, if not older. Yeah. I, know. I think so. Yeah. Speaking of new D and D movie, that was actually like a really good movie too. Like I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty sweet. That's good. Yeah. Chris Pine, right? He yeah. was like the bard. Yeah. And then uh like Will Smith's son was like a sorcerer and the chick from uh it was like a druid and oh. uh the let's see, who was the other oh the chick from uh Fast and the Furious. Um, she was like a barbarian. It was pretty cool, dude. It was a it was a fun little. I had no expectations going into it. I thought it was gonna be absolute dog shit. Um, but then I watched it. Uh, they it was, really like, made it look like dog shit through yeah. all the trailers. Yeah, that looked like some just direct to DVD garbage. It was like bad. The marketing was bad, like super bad. Like I watched, you know, I was watching the trailers. I've seen like one or two of them, and I was like, this is gonna be fucking terrible they remind they reminded me a lot of like the monster hunter movie uh, trailers it was just yeah. like it was just campy bad not good yeah like hey so i'm glad to know thing. that it was like actually and it seems to be the opinion was that yeah you know it was fun it was actually it was fun. fun it was yeah. a, you know a fun movie which according to uh rotten tomatoes it was a flop what i think it was a flop i think i think i think technically it didn't make enough oh uh, probably they but I it mean, was you know they're special i mean the mario movie is getting review bombed right now because, oh is it you know, it's not apparently it's it's just like not good enough like uh, it doesn't make enough references for neck beards to what to. <laughs> what it doesn't make enough <laughs> references literally the character come to life on screen and it's it i think it's more because it, it plays enough. out like every other illumination movie i mean it's mm -hmm. like you know it's shrek but with uh, mario i see i see so it's gonna be a hit and i'm sure it's gonna be one of those movies that gets memed on constantly for the next <laughs> six to eight months <laughs> yeah we need to go see it, dude. We've been talking about it since, like, last year. Oh, I know. I haven't watched a movie in theaters in a long time, and I know it came out, I think it released tonight, didn't it? Uh, pro Yeah, probably. Or tomorrow night? Yeah. Thursday night into Friday, usually. Yeah. 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 I don't want to go, with, like, on opening night, because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of kids with their parents there, and I don't want to seem weird. Yeah, you just roll But in. is it even more weird if I, like, go and watch it and there's nobody there? <laughs> that was how I felt when I watched that, uh, uh, what was it? It was, like, Friday the 13th, the new movie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I went on a date to see that, but it was, like, just being her in there, and it was, like, I don't know, it was weird. That is it's weird. It's weird being in a movie theater all by, I, like, you'd think I'd be used to it from working at a movie theater, but right. it still is, like, just weird to be in a... <laughs> just an empty like ass theater, theater all by yourself yeah. or like there's one other person there yeah not enough or it's the uh obvious couple that are just there to make out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you're there to just watch yeah i get you i know I what you see the funny mario <laughs> movie i want to I still think it would be funny if at least one theater, instead of playing that, they played the one from the 80s. Oh my god, that would be so good. <laughs> they just just swap it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, fucking John Leguizamo. Yeah. What a guy. What a, what a guy. You'll never be able to recreate that magic. No. No. I might watch that 
later tonight. The old Mario. It's on YouTube for free. Oh, is it? Nice. I believe so. Fuck yes. I think I'm probably going to do that. And just, you know. No, I'm probably not. I'm I'm, ta- I'm talking big game. I'm not going to do fucking anything that I say. I'm probably going to just go back to painting my fucking Warhammer figures and be sad. And, uh, I don't know. What, 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 was, the, what was the first thing we talked about? AI. AI, hmm. yeah. Who knows where that's gonna go? Yeah, dude. We got AI VTubers now that are pretty oh, crazy. Oh shit, that's right. You you haven't given me the update on that one. What was her uh, name? Uh, they're better now. Uh-huh. They sound better. It's you know, it's just AI. It's learning. It and the Neurosama. I believe is what her name is. Mm-hmm. I don't watch the Twitch streams. I really don't care. <laughs> to, I like Twitch <laughs> is just not my thing. Yeah, I don't understand I, it. I, I, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, I don't either. Because, and I like I tried watching. Like, there's a streamer that I watch his stuff on YouTube, and I was like, okay, I'll try watching his Twitch stream. And I go onto his tri- Twitch stream, and you know, it's just chat, and it's filled with a bunch of spamming emotes and people that have subbed to him yeah. and given him money that have access to higher tier emotes, and <laughs> I, it's just, I don't understand it. Yeah. <laughs> My brain can't comprehend it. There's too much going on. There is. There, yeah, there really is. I don't get it. That's, yeah, that's the issue I have with Twitch, is there's just way too much going on. Mm-hmm. But there's so much good like drama that comes from it that I'm missing out on. Yeah. We gotta start making the drama, dude. That's hmm. We gotta get yeah, we have to get super famous and then start a Twitch channel and then we have to get like really drugged out. Like we Uh have to move somewhere completely different than where we live and then get really drugged out. Uh Have a period of time on like when we're just doing streams and we're both super obviously like High as hell, uh-huh. gacked out of our minds. Drugs, right? Just doing peyote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing peyote. <laughs> we're doing salvia. I, I mean, this was gonna get really dark and lead to like. Then we like eventually a chick gets raped oh. or sexually assaulted on our stream. Oh and no, notice it. Because that seems to be, like, what happens a lot oh. is, like, people would do those 24-hour live streams and then someone gets sexually assaulted. Jesus. And then they release a twit longer the next day. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. God it's, damn. It's like, it's, like, it's like the MTV reality TV show, but, like, if it was not scripted. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it's like Big Brother, but it's, like, actually real. Yeah, yeah, it's even worse. It's bad. It's Man, very bad. That's uh, that's terrible. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we should just go back to yeah. being good boys. And I think it's better when you just like release edited content because yeah. then nobody can judge you, mm-hmm. or they can only judge you based off that. It's not like they're you know, you do a a fucking old school RuneScape stream for twenty four hours, but you're also snorting coke <laughs> throughout the whole thing <laughs> fuck people stream that don't they that's gotta be so fucking boring to watch somebody click on shit for hours yeah like a oh, runescape yeah, yeah it's a yeah. whole it's a whole thing god damn i mean some of the high level gameplay is interesting hmm but yeah, a lot of streamers or a lot of content creators, like there's this dude that just like, he does this like one tile at a time and a tile, you know, in RuneScape, you know how you move. It's like a tile. So he can only do so many actions with how many tiles he's unlocked before he, it's, it, what? there's a lot of autism huh. in <laughs> like <laughs> you do repetitive actions uh-huh. They're, they're, <laughs> I think one of the funniest things I know, because I used to follow old school RuneScape a lot, is like one of the guys that got 200 million experience, which is like maxed experience. It's not level, it's like getting level 99 like five times. Oh my god. 
But anyway, he, like, was getting it and smithing, and apparently, like, <laughs> there was some kind of rat race. There was another guy doing smithing at the same time as this guy trying to get to number one. So this guy just, like, would play 22 hours a day of RuneScape, then sleep for two hours, and then get up. Jesus. <laughs> And apparently he shit himself, like, he had oh a, my to- God. like, toilet situation set up, so he d- oh, <laughs> didn't have to leave. <laughs> God. That's just it's too so far. It's so bad. God damn, dude. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm not like that, <laughs> you know, Ugh. like, I think my life sucks sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but... And I'm not, like, whatever, the dude accomplished a very... Herculean task. Yeah. Like, good but for him. But at what cost? Damn. At what cost? It's admirable, but it's at the same time, if you like, I don't know why people like, like, do shit with poo poo and pee pee. That's gross, dude. Fucking, you know, take two seconds and go take a shit in the bathroom. What are you doing? Why are you spending time building a toilet in your chair? That's. Gro- it's gross. It's it's just gross. I don't know. It's nasty. I, <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna be the best then, at anything, you gotta be willing to wear diapers. I suppose you're right. Yeah, diapers. I guess. I guess. I guess diapers are okay, but it's those are like you know. Hopefully, you go change your diaper soon, because otherwise, you're just stewing. In your own shit, literally, and and that's that's kind of gross. Uh, mm. No, I agree. It's absolutely generate behavior, yeah, super nasty. <laughs> and it shouldn't be rewarded. No, in any way. it shouldn't. We shouldn't encourage these things. The sad reality is that accomplishment is probably the like peak of that dude's life. Like, he's probably so happy that he got to. Uh, you know, Max, Max smithing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Ex- <laughs> that's exactly it. That's He's probably the peak. Super happy. Yeah, and then it's like you know, where do you go from there? How do you, how do you, how do you make a profit off that? How do you turn that into business? I mean, the smart ones will put that amount of autism into, like runescape itself but they'll also make videos and create content so they'll do the whole editing process and everything those Uh, you know that i can get behind i guess to some extent yeah there was a guy i mean we're specifically still talking about runescape here but there was a guy uh a couple years back he's still pretty famous from what i understand but he like locked his character to a certain area in the game and that was pretty interesting to watch like he couldn't do anything like he did everything he could to get into the area Mm -hmm. at at the bare minimum and then he would like like okay well i need to get (laughs) to do this quest i need 70 crafting so he would just craft whatever he could in that area he couldn't leave to you know he could only use what was in the air that was that was fun that was a fun one that's kind of cool it's, it's a different... Was he shitting himself, too? No. Okay, all right. He was not. That is cool. That the big drama with him is that he, like, had his girlfriend play one time. No. <laughs> yeah. How dare he? He like, he, like... I think the biggest part of that drama was the fact that this guy that played RuneScape for, you know, 18 hours a day every day had a girlfriend <laughs> yeah. that was actually kind of hot. <laughs> And at one point, like, he was like, okay, I kind of don't want to play 18 hours today, but my girlfriend's down to play for eight hours, just clicking on this monster. Eight hours? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's RuneScape, man. Holy it's fucking, shit. like, all you do in that game is just click on stuff and attack it. Here, babe, sit and click on this shit for eight hours today. And she did. What She the sure fuck? did. It's... <laughs> damn dude because she died because she like <laughs> the, the funny thing is is like the one time he like stopped and was like okay well i'm if you're cool to play my account just yeah like all he was doing was killing this one monster to get a super rare drop that he needed a ton of mm. so it was a really long grind and 
he let her play once and then she died. <laughs> Damn. So that was like the whole big like she died once and then he tried to cover it up because he was, uh, you know, he's like an uh-huh. 18, 19 year old kid. Poor guy Damn. sucked into old school RuneScape at 18 years Oof. old in 2020. Damn. I believe. Damn. Come back. I can't say anything. I got I got back, sucked friend. into it, but you still have time to turn your life around. Don't give it I all away. He does. <laughs> no, is he is he locked? Is he gonna be shitting himself soon? Maybe. Probably. But he makes like really like the community loves his videos. So uh, okay. Okay. I guess he's like super charismatic zoomer mm. uh energy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shit that's too young for my blood. I, I'm, I'm too old for that mumbo jumbo. And even drink energy drinks anymore. That's a lie. I totally do. Fuck. Do you have any uh? You have any fun Easter plans? No, uh, I don't actually. Oh. I'm off work that day, so nice. I'm probably just gonna do heroin like I normally Hell do. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's the one day a year I let loose. Yeah, that's fair. I don't normally do heroin, but I make sure to buy a huge brick of it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, you know, April, ever April fourth, April fifth. It has to be one of those days specifically. Yeah. And my guy, he knows. Like, he's always ready. I've known him for 20 years now. Uh huh. He's like, it's and Easter Sunday. He always Sunday. has a brick of heroin for me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just imagine the kind of hijinks you'd get into with that, that brick of heroin on Easter Sunday. There's a movie idea. How about that? That it's a. Um. I don't know, dude who's going to buy a brick of heroin, but it's also Easter Sunday, and then, uh, I don't know, he, like, drops it. <laughs> I was thinking it. it would be more like Super Size Me, except instead of eating McDonald's <laughs> every day, he just does heroin. Damn. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Oof. Yes. <laughs> It's just like it'd day probably be one. the opposite mm-hmm. of super size me. But yeah, you just do heroin, he'd mm-hmm. just shoot up. It would always and like I mean it would be he he would just show the 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 video of how he starts his morning and he just shoots up heroin and then like the rest is all blank until the next day when he <laughs> does it again. And you just see his his <laughs> slow decline into uh Opiate addiction. Mm-hmm. And madness first. He'd go mad. And then he would... Especially uh, if you aren't eating anything. Uh-huh. Yeah, dude, he'd, he'd wake up. And it's like day three, and he wakes up, and he's like, Hey, I'm fucking... I'm loco. And then he shoots up, and then collapses, and then it jumps to like day four, and he <laughs> wakes up, and he's wearing a, a wacky top hat with the... Some date on it. Three eleven. Three eleven was that the was that the Mad Hatter thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I uh I ran out of I ran out of jokes. So. So it's a good time to end yeah. the podcast. Yes. Well, unfortunately, I did not have G- Chat GPT write me a closer. That would have been really funny if I'd mm. had a closer ready and it just, just like tied right back to the AI stuff that we barely talked about. Yeah, we like we barely we barely talked. <laughs> about yeah, about you know we're in, we're in the business of Midwest and scumming, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we live on the fringes of society. Yeah, yeah. The fringes in the in the underbelly, the the gritty underbelly. The gritty underbelly. <laughs> Keep that underbelly gritty until next time, folks. All this talk of blood and slaying has put me off my pee.
That's an absolute dime right there.